Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to create a floating contact form for your website using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now this is how it works. We have this contact button over here and if I click on that, we have the contact form displayed over here and we also have some animation for these placeholders and if I click on this name input field, we can see that the placeholder goes up and it stays over here and we can type anything over here and we have the same animation for all these placeholders. But if you don't have any data inside the input field and if you go outside the input field, we can see that the placeholder goes back to the original position. But if you have any data, then it will stay there. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Now in the first part, I'll just show you how to create this design. And in the next video, I'll show you how to create the animation because we're going to use some JavaScript in that as well. So let's get started. <laughs> Now for all these icons, we're going to be using Font Awesome. So let's get the CDN of Font Awesome. Just Google for Font Awesome 5 CDN and you will get this link of cdnjs.com. So let's go to the website. And I'll just copy the link of all.min.css from here. And let's click on this button called copy link tag. And here I have created an empty folder called floating contact form and I just opened it with VS Code. Now let's create the necessary files over here. So first of all, let's create an HTML file. So I'll just click on new file and I'll just name it index.html and let's create a CSS file. I'll just name it style.css and we also need to have a JavaScript file. So I'll just name it main.js and let's go to the index.html file and in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab and you'll have this basic HTML5 code and I'll also link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab and in the href I'll just type style.css and here we'll also paste the link of the font awesome CDN. So I'll just paste it over here. All right, now let's start with the HTML of the contact form. So inside the body, let's create a division with a class of floating contact form. Now for all these components inside the contact form, we'll create a division with a class of form container. And in that we'll have all this content. And now for this button, we'll create a division with a class of contact icon. And in that we will have this icon. Right here I am in fontawesome.com and let's click on this button and let's go to icons and let's search for the icon over here so I'll just type chat and this is the icon that we used in our design so let's click on that and here's the code for the icon so I'll just click on this and I'll just paste it over here. Alright now let's open this in our browser so I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So you can just search for live server and uh, just install it in your VS code. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now here we can see our design is opened in the browser. All right now let's design the form. So first of all, we have this heading over here. So inside the form container, let's create an S3 and I'll just type, we would love to hear from you. And here we can see we have the heading. And after that, we have these input fields and this button. So for that, let's create a form. And for the action, I'll just type hash for now. Now for each of these input fields, we'll create different divisions. So let's create a division with the class of field container. Now the first thing we need to have over here is the icon. So let's go back to font awesome. And let's search for name. And I have used this icon. So let's click on this. And I'll just copy this from here and I'll just paste it over here. And after that, we have this placeholder. Now this is basically a label. So let's type label and this is for the name. So I'll just type name over here. And in the label, I'll just type name. And here we can see we have this icon and also this label. Now let's create the input field. So let's type input and I'll just keep the type as text. And we also need to include the ID. So let's type ID equals name. Now this ID should match this for value over here inside the label. All right, so now here we have the icon, the label, and also the input field. All right now let's create another division. So I'll just copy this from here. And I'll just paste it one more time over here. And here the next icon that we need to have is for email. So let's go back to font awesome and I'll just search for email. So here I'll just type email and I think this is the icon that we used. So I'll just click on this 
and let's click on this to copy this HTML and I'll just paste it over here and then here we have email and I'll just change this name to email and then for the input field I'll just change the ID to email so here we can see we have the name and the email now for the message we will have a text area because we need to have multiple lines of text so let's create one more division and we'll just give it the same class field container and in that first of all we need to have the icon so let's go back to font awesome and let's search for message and I think this is the icon that we used so I'll just click on this and I'll just copy this from here and paste it down here and next we need to have the label so I'll just type label and it is for the message so I'll just type message over here and inside the label I'll just type message and after that we need to have a text area so let's type text area and here for the ID I'll just type message and then lastly we need to have the send button so let's go outside this division and let's create an input and we'll give it a type of submit and for the value I'll just type send and let's go back to our design and here we can see all the elements are displayed over here so I think that's it with the HTML and I'll also link our JavaScript file over here inside the HTML so here just before the body ends I'll just type script colon src and press tab and here I'll just type main.js alright now let's start styling this using CSS so we have already linked our CSS file over here so let's go to our style.css file first of all we will style this contact button now it is inside a division with a class of floating contact form and in that we can see we have this contact icon division so let's type floating contact form contact icon and we'll set the position to fixed and we'll set the bottom position to 40 pixels and we'll set the right position to 50 pixels and we'll also set the cursor to pointer so that when we hover over this we have this cursor and we'll also add some padding to this icon so let's type padding and we'll just set it to 16 pixels and now we can see we have this padding for this icon right now let's increase the size of this icon so the icon is basically an i tag so if we scroll down we can see that this is an i tag and it has this class over here for font awesome so let's go back and let's type floating contact form contact icon i and I'll just set the font size to 42 pixels and I'll set the color of the text to 003049 now when we hover over this icon we need to increase the size so for that let's type floating contact form contact icon i colon hover and let's type transform scale and I'll just set the scale to 1.1 .1. and we'll also add a transition for smooth animation so let's type transition all to 300 milliseconds ease and now if you hover over this we have the size changing alright now let's start with this contact form so let's type floating contact form and uh, we have a division with a class of form container over here so let's target that so here I'll just type form container and let's set the position of the form container to fixed and we'll set the bottom position to 120 pixels and the right position to 50 pixels and let's set a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and 36 pixels left and right and we'll also set the width to 480 pixels and let's set the font family to Roboto and we'll also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and we'll set the values to 0 pixels, 10 pixels, 50 pixels and RGBA 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.1 now here the width that we see for this form container is uh, more than 480 pixels because uh, we have set the width to 480 pixels but we have also added some padding so it also gets added to the width so for that let's set the box sizing to border box so I'll just type floating contact form asterisk now this will select all the elements inside the floating contact form and here I'll just type box sizing and I'll just set it to border box and now we can see we have the correct width right now let's add rounded corners so I'll just type border radius and we'll just set it to 24 pixels right now let's style this S3 so let's type floating contact form S3 
and I'll just set the font size to 30 pixels and we'll just set the color of the text to 003049 and we'll decrease the margin top a little bit so let's type margin top and I'll just set it to 10 pixels now if you go back to our original design we can see that we have this uh, underline over here so for that we'll be using an after selector now using after and before selectors we can add extra data to the elements so let's type floating contact form s3 colon colon after now for the after selector we need to have a content property so let's type content now if we just type one two three over here we can see that after the s3 we have one two three displayed over here but we don't want to have any content so i'll just delete this from here we just create a basic height and width and a background color so let's type height of three pixels and width of let's say 36 pixels and we'll set a background color of ef233c now we need to position the underline based on this heading so for the heading we need to type position relative and here in the after selector we can just type position absolute and now we need to position it to the left and to the bottom so let's type left of zero and bottom of negative four pixels so here we have the underline for our heading All right now let's style the input fields so i'll just type floating contact form form input and uh, we'll set the type to text and we'll also target the text area so i'll just type floating contact form form text area now first of all we'll set the width to 100 percent and we'll also add a padding of 24 pixels top and bottom and uh, 32 pixels left and right and I think that's a lot so let's decrease it to let's say 16 pixels or let's say 12 pixels right, that looks all right and now let's set the font size to 16 pixels and we'll also add a border of one pixel solid and we'll set the color to RGBA 047 73 and for the opacity I'll just type 0 0.3 and we'll also have rounded corners so I'll just type border radius and I will just set it to 8 pixels and we'll also change the color of the text inside the input fields so I'll just type color and we'll just set it to this dark color right here now when you click on these input fields we have this outline now if you don't want to have this outline you can just type floating contact form form input colon focus and when we focus on the input fields I'll just set the outline to none and now we can see we don't have the outlines but for the text area we have the outline so I'll just add that over here as well so I'll just type floating contact form form text area colon focus all right everything works all right now for these input fields we'll also add a margin bottom so let's type margin bottom and I'll just set it to 20 pixels all right now let's style this placeholder and also these icons now if you go back to our html we can see that we have a division with a class of field container and in that we have all these elements now what we will do is we will set the position of this label and also this icon relative to the field container so let's go back to our style.css file and here i'll just type floating contact form field container and i'll just set the position to relative now we need to set the position of the label and the icon to absolute so let's type floating contact form field container label and i'll just set the position to absolute and also floating contact form field container i which is the icon and i'll just set the position to absolute All right now let's set the top position to let's say 16 pixels i think we will just increase the padding of the input fields a little bit so i'll just set it to 14 pixels right, that looks all right and i'll just set the left position of the label to 36 pixels and i will just set the top position of the icon to 16 pixels and the left position of the icon to 12 pixels and i think we need to move the label to the right a little bit more so i'll just set it to let's try 40 pixels i think that looks all right and now we can see we have this cursor we also need to add some more padding on the left of the input field so let's go back to the input field and here you can see we have set a padding of 32 pixels left and right so we'll also set a padding left of 40 pixels and now we can see that the cursor is in the correct place All right now let's set the color of the icon to a lighter color so let's type color 
and we'll just set it to RGBA and we'll set the values to 0, 55, 85 and uh, 0 0.8. Right now we'll decrease the height of this text area a little bit. So let's type floating contact form for text area and we'll just set the height to 150 pixels. And here we can see on the right we have an option to resize this text area. Now we'll disable the option of resize. So for that you can just type resize and set it to none. And now we can see we don't have the option of resize. All right now the last thing we need to style is this button. So let's type floating contact form, form, input and for the type I'll just type equals submit. And first of all I'll just set the border to none. And we'll just set the background color to the dark color. And uh, I'll just set the color of the text to white. And let's set a padding of 16 pixels top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right. And we'll just set the width to 100%. And we'll also add a border radius of 24 pixels. And we'll set the font size to 16. And we'll set the font weight to bold and I will also set the cursor to pointer. So now when we hover over this, we have this cursor and we also need to change the color of this label. So let's scroll up and here for the label, I'll just type color and I'll just set the color to the dark color. Right now, the last thing we will do is we will add a hover effect for this button. So let's type floating contact form, form input and type equals submit colon hover. And when we hover over this button, we will have a light background color. So let's type background and I'll just set the color to 00659B and we'll also add a transition. So I'll just type transition all to 500 milliseconds ease. And now let's hover over this button and we can see that the hover effect is working all right. So everything is working all right. So that's it with the design of our contact form. Now in the next video, I'll show you how to add this animation to these placeholders and also the animation for this contact button. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.